This video will cover the topic, Introduction to the Composition of Two Functions. The composition of functions deals with finding the value of one function through the output of another. I'll run through an example to give a better understanding. Let's do the following example. So we have s of x equals negative x minus 2 and t of x equals negative x squared plus 2. Now we're looking to find the value of t of s of 4. Note the value t of s of 4 is called the composition of the function t with s at x equals 4. First we need to find what s of 4 is going to equal. So this means we have the following equation after plugging 4 into the function. Now s of x is going to equal negative x minus 2. So plugging 4 into that we have negative 4 minus 2 which gives us negative 6. Now that we have the value of s of 4 which is negative 6, we then plug in the value into our other function t of x. Plugging negative 6 into the function we are left with negative negative 6 squared plus 2 which simplifies to negative 36 plus 2, which again simplifies to negative 34. So t of s of 4 is going to equal negative 34, and that is going to be our final answer. Oh, okay. That makes a lot of sense. So we first want to determine what s of 4 is equal to, and then plug in that value into t of x. In this case, we have s of 4 equaling negative 6, and then that gets plugged in. So we have t of negative 6. Yeah, exactly. Now using the same functions, let's try doing another example that switches the inputs. So let's find s of t of 4 opposed to t of s of 4. To begin, let's find t of 4. And once we get that value, we can plug that into s of x. So t of 4 equals negative 4 squared plus 2. And that simplifies to t of 4 equals negative 14. Now we plug in negative 14 to s of x because that is what t of 4 equals. So we have s of negative 14 equals negative negative 14 minus 2, which simplifies to s of negative 14 equals 12. So our final answer is going to be 12. Okay, so s of t of 4 is not the same as t of s of 4. So we plug that x value into the inner function, and the output of that function will be inputted into the outer function. And that function's output will be the answer to the given composition function. Yeah, exactly.